Okay, so this is how it arrives from Vim. It's just a simple packing lid. And the case itself. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. We've got a shoulder strap. Um, like the old kit, and we've got a hand strap. So that one zip, drop down. And then we have the tag and the hand at this end, and that it zips back and allows us to unpack. And then we have box which feels like it contains something but actually it doesn't. And there is our kit. Okay so let's have a look inside the bag and see what we have. So you can see immediately that the hard carry case is here. Um, there is a leaflet on the product itself and the all important how to set your kit up guide. It slips inside a little pocket here. And then we've got a bag of electrodes. And all of the various stuff that goes in the side pouches. Okay, so we have one iPad, 10.2, which comes with the, uh, the clamp on the back. A bit robust. Uh, bright green matches the um, green tag. There's another pocket there, though, there's nothing in that. And then finally, Okay, let's have a look at the actual kit itself. And here it is. So we've got the uh, zip pouches down the side. I like see if there is anything installed when it arrives from Vim. And the answer is yes. We have we have entitles and big P cuff in there. It looks a snug fit, but it's um it's a, it's well packaged around the sides in the, the actual carry case itself. It's quite solid and it's got a nice balance to it. Feels good. Down this side, we appear to have an iPad charger and SATS probes and uh, three lead and 12 lead stuff. Okay. I just want to explore this, um, this side pouch a little bit more with you. So initially the zip comes down here and we can access there, but also there is a zip at the side so that drops down and then we can get into the pouch that way as well and that's the same on both sides and what you can see here is the way the leads um, the various leads that we've got coming out and also the charging option um, come out of the uh, the back of the kit which we'll have a look at in a second okay just switch to the other side pouch here um, just what I wanted to point out was um, a couple of things. Again, the uh, leads can come through here. Um, and importantly, we've got the iPad charging uh, option in here as well. Um, just before we go into the back of the uh, kit to see what there is, here's a, a bit of a guide as to what is in your box and how to put it together. 
Um, it's a three page guide. Uh, thankfully, Vim looks like he's done all of the assembling before it comes out. Um, and there's more info on the back there, uh, including a little T piece Allen key type thing. Um, it does show that you should have the um, the iPad charger coming from this side rather than that side or vice versa. Um, so I will swap that around. Obviously, just a simple mistake, but that sits in the uh, in the the larger carry case for our customers. Okay, so getting into the back, um, just gonna put your thumb underneath um, and it clips down. It's very easy, light. There's a quite a thud when it shuts, but you know it's closed. So in the back um, was sitting this little pouch carry case. And in this, comes all of your charging cables and leads and instruction stuff for the uh, Apple and the um, Amplify Wi-Fi. Just put that to one side and we'll have a little dive in. So as you can see down the sides we've got um, our leads and cables coming in through this little gap here that goes into the pouch and the same on the other side there and then we've got our overrun of the uh, the 12 leads and, and such like. Uh, in the base is, um, it's kind of fixed into place as well. I'm guessing this is the USB charging hub. I haven't looked too much into it at the moment, but there's a power lead comes off and then runs around. Um, and that seems to go where? Is that going into the back of the iPad? Let's have a little look. Not sure. I'll investigate that in a moment. Anyway, our amplified Wi-Fi is here. So it's the flatter version of the, um, the boxes that we currently have. Uh, in the back, you can see the area where we would put the, um, the, the power for the, the battery. Uh, still got this nice translucent ring around the base so we know when it's working because it'll it'll flash with that blue and give us a little tune. Um, and that sits quite comfortably on this little shelf that's built in there. And then on the bottom, and again, this seems to be taped into place using some Velcro. Bloody hell. Um, yeah. So there's the power. Anyway, it's a Sandberg battery, I believe. This this black is like duct tape on steroids and seems to be holding the battery in place. So off camera, I'll have a little bit of a route around in there. But in the back, there's no need to put anything extra really, other than your Wi-Fi is there. So once that's in, you're good to go. All right, let's switch her on. Okay, another little short clip. So this is the Sandbird battery. Um, it's quite weighty, but it adds real weight to the kit and gives the, the kit nice balance. So it actually does feel very good when you're lifting the whole box as a, as a unit. Um, so I just want to explore all of these leads. Um, where the heck is it? There it is. That's the one I want. So this comes off and goes into the um, Wi-Fi that we're familiar with. The um, sorry, the uh, the Amplify. So if I pop that into there, we get uh, as I say that a nice translucent um, bar along the bottom, and it all beams up as usual. So that will be, you know, plugged in. Um, in the back of the kit uh, and, and, and permanently sat there. And you can see that the power is on in the battery. I didn't need to switch that on. That was all ready to go, unless I triggered something when I was uh, figuring out what was what, but that works. I'm gonna do two things at once here. The big reveal, first of all. So uh, it comes in from that side because you can, Put your iPad, your controller iPad, very snugly into that sponge base that I showed you earlier. Sits in there very nice. In fact, 
you need to give it a good tug to get it out but that sits in there nicely and it can charge it's a bit of a squeeze to get it in at least it was with these two hands um, first time but it works and that's why that is there so that's good all you have to do is just lift the battery out of that snug part move it into that space there and then drop your ipad comfortably in and our little white charger does the rest okay so the other question this lead comes out of that um, hub which is powered by the battery at the back and behind that T piece from the uh, BP cuff of the SATS lead, it goes out there. So where does it go? The answer is about to be revealed. Uh, a bit of brevity at this stage. Um, the uh, Allen key T piece fits into the back here, unscrews, and fits into the back here and unscrews. So we just take this one out. This the other's already done. Bends out quite easily. And what happens is that the case comes away from the front. So I'm gonna do shift things around, spin that, and then what you're gonna see is the front of the case come off. And there is our black plug, which um, neatly charges our iPad. Oh, I know I've knocked everything to bits. We've seen this in some video that Wim sent us, I think, and it fits up in this corner. I'll pop that back in and maybe have a look at that later. Okay, so a quick view of the back now that I've taken out the iPad. Um, it's quite neat. I do like that. That's, that's a winner. Um, this is the uh, little piece that we see on the photographs that we've gotten from them. You can see that uh, it's been sanded down here. It must be a very snug fit against the um, against the frame and the iPad, so that's that's why that's been done. But it just hangs on a little peg there and clips back in. And then the iPad sits back through there. It is very snug. It's lovely. Fits nice. Um, Okay, so we are back with our little piece here that looks a bit odd and we wonder what it does and why it's been shaved down, etc, etc. Also, we're going to focus on these two gaps here. And this button here is the on button. And just behind there, we've got our volume buttons. So this sits there. And when that goes into there, that becomes the volume control button and the on off switch. Neat. Probably useful to point out at this stage that um, the frame on the front has a small run that runs along the bottom of it and that needs to drop inside a little groove here and that will fit neatly and lock everything into place. So it just needs a little push down and then everything goes snug, um, which wasn't happening in the previous video. So now everything, I'll move that over. Everything is neat and snug, and that's smooth, which is the way it all should be. Okay, so round at the back, we have um, we plugged our Wi-Fi in. Uh, we've got the lead in, and we've got our nice beam telling me that it's all switched on, and the word amplifies measured on here and telling me we're all plugged. So I will shut up shop spinner around we are going to introduce the uh, green iPad at this stage which is the controller 10.2 click on at the side no problem um, works fine still got a home button on the 10.2 um, unlike the pro um, so we can just bring that up and then as I just showed you in the previous film, we've got our buttons on the side. So we touch and hold. He says, Oh, Siri, great. Not now, Siri. 
So there we go. Um, swipe. You can still see the swipe bar. I remember when we were in Madrid, Dave, this was a bit of an issue. Um, that on the new iPad Pro, you couldn't see. You couldn't see it. Um, but you just swipe it up. And you tap. And you're good to go. So, um, automatically connected as we would expect to the Wi-Fi uh, on the controller iPad. Um, just got to touch that to bring that back in play. I'm not sure if we're on. It's not connected, so let's have a look and see why not. Here we are, Reality Green. Okay, doesn't know the password, but I do like this feature from Apple now to share it. There it is. All right. Good. So let me go back to the app, make sure everything works fine. It's got a nice frame around it still. I do like that. That's good. Go. Cool.